Okay, good morning. So it's another day where I feel a little behind schedule, but I also need to record a video. In this video, we're gonna do an update on the RV, but first we're gonna get the boy ready for school because it's also a school day and I'm feeling a little behind. And this is actually how I feel most of the time whenever Alex is in school, I feel a little bit behind, a little hectic, a little as if I am constantly waiting for my alarm clock to ring to let me know what the next activity I'm supposed to be doing is. So hey guys, if you're new here, I'm Anne, single mom of Alex. And earlier this year, my son and I returned to the US from three years of Mexico living. And I still very much feel like we're adapting to Alex going to school again. We're adapting to fixing up the RV and just, you know, living back in the US has been fun. So while Alex is eating, let's talk about RV updates. I was up late last night just messing with the RV, which is the norm. I left that up all night. Ugh. I decided to put the trash can under here and I zipped it in. We'll see how well I did. But look, the Reflectic stays on the windows now because I properly fitted them. Pretty simple to do. I don't need magnets anymore because I just made it the right size. So it's fitted. There's like this sill, window sill, and that's what it's fitted on. It's beautiful. Okay, she's ready to take Alex to school. All right, so the reason why I'm getting everything ready is because in a couple of weeks, I will be going on a camping trip. I'm not gonna fix the entire RV up. Like we're not, I'm literally not gonna replace the battery because I found something interesting last night. You guys know that I have not yet replaced my house battery, but it's been dead forever. Let me show you something. I'm gonna turn on the car real quick. So this is my battery. <gasps> I turned it on and I see that Alex has left his light on. Now my test will tell you that my battery is perfect. It's not perfect. It's only showing all the lights because my RV is turned on. Guys, my lights. All of my lights, all of my lights work. And I've got lights in the front. Okay, so the fact that my car has to be turned on tells you that my battery is no bueno. It's basically not good, but it proves that my electrical system is good. The one thing that I cannot prove is good is gonna be my AC unit. For my AC unit to work, everything has to be connected. And the second thing I cannot test is my water pump. And the only reason I can't test it is because I have no water in my system yet. I'll be feeling that soon. So I don't want to turn on the water pump with no water in my RV. But yeah, electrical works for the most part. The other thing that's not working right now is my fan. Nothing is happening. There's a fuse here that I looked at earlier. It's totally fine. So it's not the fuse. I'm not sure why my fan's not working. Luckily, I do have other portable fans that I'll be using in the meantime. But ah, basically the electrical system works. It's just so great. Come gross it is oh my gosh so this is one of my old coolers from forever i'm gonna be cleaning her out today and i'll be rummaging through my stuff that's inside the house to see what i want to put into the rv to get her ready for the trip super excited but guys this is my closet and pretty much everything here belongs in my rv every look everything all of it all of this at one point fit in my rv and more. This is not anywhere near how much stuff I had when I first started RV life, but this is just what we're left with. Mine is just a couple things missing. So we'll be rummaging through, see what we might need for the next trip. Too early, you think? No, it's 9.24. Okay. I'm leaving for that part. But if it doesn't open, uh, you'll be so, back. Yeah. Maybe bye. We're slightly early, so he's double checking if he can go in, which he can, so he's in. Lately, my RV has been used mostly for chauffeuring Alex around and depending on where we go, relaxing in the RV while we wait for something. Alex recently did volunteer work, helping plant a garden, a, a butterfly garden. I just dropped Alex off to do some gardening for a service club he's part of and I'm just gonna wait and chill in the RV until he's done. So I've got my windows cracked open, my fan, 
and the dog not patiently waiting for Alex to come back. And today's goal is to finally finish this book. Henry can hear the kids playing. So he's like, why are they so far? Why can't I join them? I like kids. I'm sure you could distract them really well. Yeah, or we'll just wait patiently. On to the next activity. What time do I need to pick you up though? Uh -huh. Goodbye. Goodbye, have I'm fun. Leaving. We went to a free comic book event. What are we gonna do? Chase them up the street. <laughs> Is there an age where kids don't want to do a jump house? Waiting for Alex's show. Just chillaxing. I'm so glad I have an RV. Between the kind of the ending or when we were tired of the free comic book event and Alex was in a play, there was this time period of about an hour, hour and a half where we chilled in the RV. <laughs> there were trouble on that part. <laughs> <laughs> It was really fun, by the way, having Alex in his first play. Very fun. But yeah, so that that's the purpose. That has been the purpose of my RV ever since coming back to the US. It's really just chauffeuring Alex around. So it's, it's exciting to start to get the RV ready to be an RV again, even for a little bit. All right, let's go. Come on. You're so patient. We've rummaged through all the things. A lot of things that are stored here are really from when Alex was young. So we'll probably donate a lot of those things later, but for now, we're just looking at the things we wanna take on this particular trip. I made this years ago. It's one of my favorite quotes from the Bible. Of course she's coming with me. Plates and such. This is a Cornell products from Walmart from years ago. I'm assuming they still have them. So they are pretty durable. This is where I used to store Alex and our clothes. Before I move this stuff in though, I'm gonna clean out a certain part of the RV that has started to smell that I've been ignoring. So we're gonna bring these products and clean a little corner of my RV, shall we? You're traveling in an RV, you're going places, things are gonna break, things are gonna happen. And so you're gonna to wanna to have tools in the RV and the decision you're gonna to wanna to make is where to keep the tools. Now, some tools you're gonna to wanna to keep in the heart, if you will, of your RV, somewhere easily accessible, because you don't want to necessarily have to leave the RV, like get out of the RV to get your tools all the time. So depending on how frequently you're going to use it, you might want to keep it in the RV. But depending on the tool, if you've ever worked in a mechanic shop or just anywhere that's kind of tool intensive, you will know that tools tend to smell after a while. I literally have no idea how to fix this, by the way, guys. Tools have a smell. So I have some tools, I have my tool bag and a lot of my tools in the garage of my van, which to access, I would have to get out of the RV, open up the back door and then get my supplies. But in my RV, I have these two little Tupperware kits where I've put just a few tools that I find useful. Much as I love having tools, they do, they start to smell. So what we're doing today is we are first of all separating these because not everything in here smells per se. It's like little plastic items, certain things, they don't smell. This smells, which means this little space cubby hole also smells like tools. While it's super helpful to have screwdrivers, etc., easily available. I just, I don't think I use them enough to really need them in the front of the RV. So for now, we're gonna split it up and put at least one of these containers with tools in it in the garage where I don't really have to smell it. However, I put other things in this storage space. So I'm constantly opening this door. So every time I open it, it smells like a mechanic shop, tool part of a mechanic shop. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? It's awful. Mm -hmm. 
this puppy is going outside, this can go back. But before I put her back, I'm gonna clean it and use this for scent. This is my gigantic road trek manual. Never get rid of your car or RV manuals. Keep it. I'm gonna keep everything open to air this thing out. Then I'm gonna spray some of this in the whole space, but also still keep all the doors open while it airs out hopefully for a little bit to just get rid of that metallic toolbox smell. Gross. All right. Oh, it smells so much better. I'm gonna spray the whole RV real quick. Spritz. I know windows are open, it makes no sense, but we're doing it anyway because it was such a lovely smell. I don't even smell the metallic right now anymore. Like, but anyway, we're still gonna open her up, air out the space. Whew, oh my gosh, I'm loving this. I just have to remember to put everything back before I pick up Alex because otherwise, all of this will just go flying. Okay, not perfect, but infinitely better. All right, let me close all these side windows and then we're gonna drive with the windows open to pick up Alex. I should clarify, we're gonna drive with the front windows open to pick up Alex. Okay. I'm down in my mind. When I get drunk, she said, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mama. I'm sorry. Life's like an hourglass blue to the table. And now comes the part where we're waiting for the boy to be out of class intellectual reading while we wait. <laughs> you ready to go? And now that we're back home, the rest of the day will pretty much consist of relaxing, cooking dinner whenever I feel like it, and uh, falling asleep. So I feel like most of my day is definitely just waiting for an alarm to ring to pick up Alex. Oh, 